So this evening we are doing our first batch of pickles, refrigerator pickles from our pickling of cucumbers. And so the first batch we're going to do is just your normal um, way of using the mix, the pickle mix. Um, that has this makes your brine, and then you put it in the pickles, and then we are doing refrigerator pickles, so we're not going to can it after because refrigerator pickles definitely make crunchier, crispier pickles, which that's what my family likes best. So, because it's not getting any heat, right? No heat, it will not make the pickles go, the cucumbers go soggy. So first I'm going to show you that, and then a second batch I'm going to show you how we're going to do our homemade brine recipe and how that works. So let's first do this, is your quicker and easier way. So over here we have our pot. And it just tells you the directions on the back. You need a seven and one third cup of water in the pot. And then you need three and one third cup white vinegar in the pot. And the pickle mix. This pickle mix, the kind you can buy it at the store, um, and this is Wages Pickle Mix. They have a bunch of different varieties you can buy, whatever, you know. We like dill pickles in my family. We don't like sweet pickles, but they do have a mix for, dill, for sweet pickles. They also have for spicy pickles. So we prefer kosher dill pickles, so that's what we do. So you put that in there, you don't, so this has every, all the seasoning stuff you need is already in here. We also like to add onions in our pickles, though. So we're going to add the onions to the jar with the cucumbers, though. So not in the brine part, just in the jar. So um, now we're going to do that. And so then we're going to stir it a little bit to kind of mix it together. You just need to let this boil. Once it's boiled for probably 5 to 10 minutes, you know, turn it down to medium, let it boil for about 5 to 10 minutes so it's all... Mixed in really well, and the seasoning is diluted in there. And then for us, so if you're canning your cucumbers for pickles, you're gonna want to put the hot brine on your pickle on your cucumbers in the jar, and then you and then you would go for to can it. Now we're not doing that; we're doing refrigerator pickles. And so what we're gonna do is once this comes to a boil for a couple minutes, for five to ten minutes. Um, then we are going to take it off of the heat and it has to get cold. We can't put hot brine on refrigerator pickles because the whole key to refrigerator pickles is they do not get come in contact with heat because that is what makes the cucumber soggy and soft. So we must let this cool down. Once it's cold and cooled down, then we will add it to our pickle or cucumbers, which we'll show you, and then we put them in the refrigerator. So, we will show you the, la the latter steps when it happens. But right now, we're at this point, waiting for this to boil. So, check back with me in a minute, and I'll show you the next step. Thanks. Okay, we're back now, and we just, um, so that pickle brine, well, it started boiling. So, it boiled for about five to six minutes. We turned it off the heat and we removed it from the heat now because remember we're doing refrigerator pickles so we want the brine to, to cool down before we're going to put it on the cucumbers. Now also a quick step is that we're out here um, with our outdoor cooker. This is where we're doing our canning tonight. And so also in our other pit was uh, we were canning, we are canning our green beans for the first time this year. So if you want to see how we can the green beans, we have another video um, that you can check out on the channel. So we just turn those off now because this batch is done. So that's what this is. This is canning, canning green beans. So now we're going to work into our homemade pickle brine. So right now we have two quarts of water in here. One quart of vinegar, white vinegar. Then we're going to do one cup of canning salt. Remember it has to be canning salt, it can't be table salt. It's different. We are going to do, we picked, we also have another video of us picking our garlic and grape leaves for these homemade pickles. So here is our garlic cloves that we got. So we're going to put all of these into the liquid. And then we're going to just put uh, add a few black peppercorns just because it helps with the flavor. 
So we're just going to probably do about that many. We probably would be good. And now, uh, and now and the recipe calls for two heads of dill per recipe or per batch. But we don't have any fresh dill. So we're using this dill that we got that's already like not in a head, right? So we um, found out that what that equals is to eight eight um, tablespoons of dill. So I'm just going to shake it in because we like it kind of going to be like dilly. We like the flavor. We want a good flavor. So I'm just going to shake in approximately eight tablespoons. Give or take a little bit more, we'll be okay. So, so if you want to look, I think that's just about good. And as you can smell, I mean, it smells delicious. When you're making your own homemade pickles, the brine is just really good. I mean, if you love pickles, you will love to smell the brine as you're cooking this up. So, I mean, it makes, if you do it in the house, it makes your house smell great. We're doing it out here tonight, though. So, anyways, okay, so now, this is all in. So, now we're going to stir it. We're going to bring it to a boil. It is on. And now, the things that's going to go into the jar with the cucumbers, okay, because we're going to do the same thing as we did with that brine. We're going to let it cool after this boils, okay. But now, after, so in the jar, in which I will show you, but I was just going to tell you, is that, um, so the cucumbers are going to be in there, and then we're going to put our, our um, onion, and then the grape leaf part. That helps the crispiness and crunchiness of the pickle, but we're not going to put that in the heat. We're going to keep that um, right here, as you can tell. Here's our, our grape leaves that we picked from our grapevines a little bit ago, which I have a, sh a short or a video to show if you want to see us in the, up in the orchard. So we're going to save that part with the onions to go with the cucumbers. So let's let this boil. we we'll are do the same thing. Let it boil for 5 to 10 minutes, and we will take it off the heat. So I will be back to show you our next step in our homemade pickles. See you in a minute. Okay, so now we're back here at the picnic table slicing the cucumbers for our homemade pickles. So, um, right here, here are two big containers. We had bought these last year to make sauerkraut, so we thought these would be great for our homemade refrigerator pickles too because they're such nice. I think we're going to go and get a few more of these um, because like I said, the refrigerator pickles will last really as long as canned pickles in the refrigerator. So. My family loves pickles. The kids absolutely could probably eat like this whole jar in a week. So we need a lot of cucumbers and pickles. So I'm going to slice them. So, and then we add the grape leaves and the onions. And the brine is cooling that we made. So. I want to cut them off, I guess. That was kind of hard. Some of them I'm going to cut the end off, some of them not, but that end it did not want to go through. So we're just slicing these long ways. Sometimes we do round, but I think that my family likes this kind, and also I like baby whole pickles. So tomorrow we're going to look for baby cucumbers that are like this big, and hopefully we can have enough to do a jar of baby whole pickles. So. And then we just put them in the jar. And then what we're going to do is we're going to layer it with grape leaves for crunchy and crispness of them. And then we're going to put the onions in with it as well. So um, yesterday a funny thing happened. Out here behind our um, chicken coop, we have our hay bales lined up behind the chickens. And we were just coming out, me and my husband were coming out to do something. And we looked in the direction of the chickens, and on top of the hay bale, right behind the chicken coop, there was a fox sitting. And this was not nighttime. This was like, it was still daylight. He was sitting there wondering how he could go and get those chickens. So, uh, I, I, he looked little, so I think he was kind of like a baby from this early spring, and now he was kind of like a, you know, an adolescent fox. So, because normally, you know, that's kind of like... A regular, an adult fox isn't really going to come out in the daytime to hunt, right? Because they're smarter than that, right? So I think he was just, he didn't look sickly or anything like that. I think he was just an adolescent who was just kind of learning the ropes of being a fox. So 
Gratefully, he saw us and he ran away, but my husband is going to have to watch out for him. Our chickens will have to watch out for him, and we are going to try to trap him to get him out of here because he foxes can cause damage to your chickens, which we have had that happen to us. So we don't want that to happen to us. So. But he never did come back yet, so that we have seen. So who knows? If there's ever any like bad parts of the pickle, like on the cucumber, like this brown, you just cut that part off. Because you really don't want any um, blemishes on the cucumber because that could make the uh, pickle go bad and not last as long. And like I said, we're cutting off the ends. You don't have to cut off the ends, but that end is kind of hard to cut through, so I'm just going to do that today. And we don't really like, I don't really like fat pickles, so I'm trying to slice these pretty, you know, like that. You know, a good size. Stays crunchy and stays good, so. So I can't wait until we can eat these. Pickles. We, it's been a while since we ran out of um, our refrigerator pickles from last year. So we're going to be excited. We're going to try to make a whole bunch. Our cucumbers are doing fabulous this year because God is sending us the rain at the perfect time. We're not getting dry. Good job. Whoa. Good job. Um, we're getting the rain. We're getting the perfect weather. So just like for our bees. Good job. Daddy, yes. <laughs> Daddy, yes. <laughs> um, so just like for our bees, the weather Daddy, has yes. been wonderful. Can you see her? <laughs> the weather has been ideal for bees as well as for our garden. So, meaning we'll get the best harvest, right? That we can get. So that's exciting when you have the years that it all works out the, the way that you want it to work out. It's been a couple years here in Iowa that it's been like that because we had been so dry for a while. Alright, so if you check back in one minute, I will be back once I get all these sliced up. See you in a minute. So we're just finishing cutting up these cucumbers. Um, and also I forgot to mention before about the grape leaf trick. Um, so I said it gives the pickles crunchiness and um, crunchiness, what was the other word? Crispiness. Yeah, I forgot what the other word was. Crispiness and crunchiness. And the reason that is that way is because grape leaves release tannin. Tannin. And that must help it be crunchy. So that is the reason grape leaves do that. Now see what I'm doing here. After every couple of layers of, pick, of cucumbers, I push it down. So I'm giving it pressure, pushing it down tight, 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 right? So you can fit a lot in, and that way it'll be good. And we do about three to four grape leaves per jar of this size. And then we put onions in between the layers as well. So um, that's good. And now these pickles are delicious. I will have to say that. So... If you know, they're not going, I, I, can, I can assure you that these pickles will not taste like kerosene soaked cucumbers, which if you know what I'm talking about, leave a comment. It's one of my family's favorite shows and episodes of that show. So you tell me in my comments if you know what I'm talking about, because these pickles will not taste like that. So we have had compliments from neighbors and friends about these pickles so and the kids if kids love it you know you know you're good right and my kids love them so that's all that's all the assurance I need is if my kids and husband love them which they do and I do too so all right so I think I did let me see so Hannah's finishing that 
I think I did one, two, three. So I'm going to do one more grape leaf on that side. Then I'm going to do a little bit more onions. And then we will fill this up with Hannah's cucumbers that she has um, chopped for us. Okay. So just sprinkle them like that on, like so. Okay, right, I'm going to save a little bit because I want to, I want to do one jar for our neighbor that we're going to go visit this evening. So I'm going to do one jar, smaller jar. I'm going to save those for, for that jar. So now, Hannah, I'm going to just take this bowl if you don't mind. Thank you. Okay, so these are, we will have enough to do one more little jar. I'm pretty sure. And our brine should be about cooled off now. Both of the brines, the homemade brine and then the packaged brine. We're going to test it and we'll let you guys know when we taste it. Um, it'll be a couple days before we can taste it because we like them to sit in the brine for the best taste. So probably within a week we'll, ta we'll taste test and we will do a video of that and let you guys know which one is best homemade brine or the packaged brine or what our preference is anyway. So of course everybody can have their own preference. But I will let you know what ours is. So we're almost ready with this. And we'll have enough pickles, I think, to do one jar for our neighbor. So I'm so happy about that. It's looking like. And we were going to go deliver those to her tonight and visit with her. So she's going to be so happy. Okay, so there you go. So those are those. And so... Give me a minute and we will be back with pouring the brine on the pickles or the cucumbers. Be right back. 